Hey guys, Cam here from 9 to 5 Google, and recently I checked out the Wiley Fox Swift. It's one of the best phones on the market in Europe at its price point. This is the Wiley Fox Storm, the company's more expensive device that aims to bring flagship specs at an affordable price point. Unboxing is a pretty nice experience. The box has the same grippy orange texture on the outside and it slides off really smoothly. Over the phone is a protective sheet and the phone is placed face down and surrounded by a foam frame. You get those out of the way and we can see what else is in the box. Underneath the tray holding the phone we'll find a flat USB to micro USB cable. There's also a SIM ejector tool with a particularly unusual square design. As well as those there's a booklet containing all the paperwork you could ever need. Interestingly though there is no wall adapter, no power adapter of any kind. Also interestingly there's a screen protector built in already out of the box, which has its own protective film that needs peeling off. Before booting the phone up though, I wanted to put the SIM card in and make sure it was all ready to go. Now the tray has two slots, like a lot of affordable devices do. But you can use this either as a dual SIM tray or as a single SIM with a micro SD card slot. Now the back of the phone itself has a soft textured finish. It's not grippy, but it does feel nice in the palm. There are some tiny bits of orange trim and an embossed Fox logo as well as a bright orange Wiley Fox text, all of which look great together. The back also plays home to a 20 megapixel Sony camera as well as a large single LED flash. There's also a large rectangular grille made of lots of individually machined holes covering the loudspeaker. Size wise overall the phone is pretty similar to the new Moto X style. At 9.2mm thick it's not the thinnest device around but the curve on the back makes it feel pretty ergonomic in palm. There's a 3.5mm jack on the top edge and a micro USB port on the bottom. If you look around the edges you'll see there's sort of this sculpted angle or trim around the top and the bottom of all the edges and the right edge plays home to the power and volume rocker and as you've already seen the SIM or SD tray is on the other side. Despite the attractive chamfered edges and orange trim the overall design does still feel pretty understated. And that's not a bad thing, it's not too showy, but, but it does still look nice. On the front there's a large 5.5 inch Full HD display with 400 ppi pixel density. On first impressions it seems pretty sharp, although whites do seem a little bit yellow and warm. Inside there's an octa-core Qualcomm 615 processor clocked at 1.5 GHz. It's paired with 3 GB of RAM and has 32 GB of storage. There's also a 2500 mAh battery and that is non-removable. What's a tiny bit sad here is that this is the same battery capacity as the smaller Wiley Fox Swift. So it'll be interesting to see if I get any kind of decent battery life from the Storm at all. As overall first impressions go, this phone does remind me a lot of the OnePlus One. It has similar specs, materials and a similar price. At £200 though it does have some competition, perhaps mostly from the OnePlus X that's recently been announced. So sadly it may not reach the impressive heights of its more budget friendly sibling but still we won't jump to any conclusions until I've spent a little bit more time with it. If there is anything you want me to check specifically between now and when I publish my review please feel free to leave a comment down below or get me on Twitter. I'm at Cam Bunton. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos. I'll see you again soon.